I just got done watching Steven Spielberg's brand new movie, The Fablemans, which if you've heard the title, you've probably heard this is going to be the best picture winner. I don't know if I fully agree with that, but I will say right now and right here and then this is easily Steven Spielberg's biggest passion project yet and it's crazy to say that after we just saw West Side Story which was another movie that he had been talking about for years wanting to make and this is kind of one of those same stories as well because this is about his life growing up in post-World War II era Arizona young Sammy Fableman aspires to become a filmmaker as he reaches adolescence but soon discovers a shattering family secret and explores how the power of film can help him see the truth. Once again, written and directed by Steven Spielberg as well as Tony Kushner who wrote this as well and starring the likes of Michelle Williams, Paul Dano, Judd Hirsch, Gabrielle LaBelle, and Seth Rogen. Now again, I've been looking forward to this. Steven Spielberg is one of the definitive best directors of all time and when you watch a film like this or any of his movies movies you just go and say yeah they don't make them just like that anymore and they don't because this is a movie that from top to bottom you feel the passion you feel the heart you feel the magic of filmmaking once again and for me every time I go to watch a Spielberg movie he always proves me wrong no matter what movie it is West Side Story I was not excited for at all I just didn't think we needed a remake and that was such a magical experience Ready Player One he pulled off with magic out of thin air and that's one of my favorite blockbusters of the last few years and the list goes on and on from there and the Fablemans I knew he was going to make a really good movie here this movie's two and a half hours, and I never felt the runtime. In fact, when I heard that going into this movie, I rolled my eyes. I said, there is not a single reason this should be... Oh, no, never mind. I was wrong. The, the pacing's actually brilliant for this. And what this film does is it makes you... Like, if you were someone who loves movies, it makes you understand why movies are so important. And in a year like this, and pretty much coming out of COVID where it feels like cinema is kind of dying in a way, like people going to the movie theaters is like dying. People don't do that as much unless it's a giant blockbuster where like I would think before COVID, you could arguably go to a random comedy the weekend it's opening and it will probably be packed out. And those are the theaters that I remember growing up with, with going into and always feeling so and always feeling claustrophobic. And I was always fine with that because I always think to myself how important movies are and how films are so important because you go to a room and maybe you take a friend, your fiance, your significant other, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever it may be, or maybe you go by yourself because I've done that quite a bit and you sit down in that room full of strangers and you all collectively experience the same thing and some of them might hate it. Some of them might love it. You might hate it. You might love it. But at the same time, you've all experienced collectively an amazing story or maybe a terrible story, but you all collectively experience that. And for that hour, two hour, three hour film that you're watching, you can just disappear and melt away into that world, into that story, into those characters. And that's the magic of cinema. And what we see here is Steven Spielberg at his best defining that and showing that through the frames and lenses of him as a kid. And I'm so excited to talk about this movie because that's just some of my pros, but I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. So make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, as well as comment down below your guys' thoughts. Let me know down below. Do you guys love this movie? Are you looking forward to it? Let me know, please. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. But without further ado, diving more into my pros, I do want to mention some of the performances in here because Michelle Williams has been getting a lot of praise for her performance. And I know a lot of people are predicting her for best supporting, but they're actually running her as best actress. I fully understand kind of both reasonings for why they could run her in each or either category. Is she one of the strongest performances of the year? Yes. Would I give her a top five? Maybe. There's been a lot of strong Best Actress performances of this year, and I still have a couple more movies to see, but Michelle Williams is incredible in this role. Paul Dano, also incredible in this role. I really love both of them. Seth Rogen's also great. Like I, The way that Steven Spielberg casted these iconic roles in his life felt so heartfelt and they really blended into the role. But for me, the most important part about this entire film was actually the character of Sammy, Sammy Fableman, the one who is pretty much Steven Spielberg. And he's played by Gabriel LaBelle and 
oh my god, this is like th one of the best introducing performances that you could probably ever see in a movie. Uh, I can't wait to see what Gabrielle does next. I think he is absolutely incredible in this movie. And honestly, like it's probably one of my favorite performances of this entire year. His awkwardness shows, but his love for filmmaking is there. And I fully believe that this was a young Steven Spielberg. The script was so well written for Sammy. It was out of this out of this park believable and i really love the relationship with the family and seeing how S sammy really loves his family and how cinema kind of when certain things kind of come to arise and issues in his life cinema and telling stories is the one way that he really felt that he could be seen in this world and i really love because when you see sammy making these movies throughout the entire film each and every one of them always feels important and always feels like that next trajectory and really much honed me back to like what are the movies that made me go i love film like what was that film that made me go i want to do this i want to talk movies on youtube or i want to talk it for the rest of my life and be obsessed with it the fablemans does that very well because of how it's framed and like I've already pre pretty much hinted at, Steven Spielberg's directing is incredible in this. And that is truly one of the biggest parts and strongest aspects of this is because you feel the magic of cinema once again. From every little point of view to cinematography to even seeing behind the scenes of how Sammy makes these movies to then seeing the actual recreation of those entire things on film. Each and every one of those things feels important. Each and every one of those things feels so magical. And the same thing goes with the cinematography, the score. All of it is working in harmony. And you just know that Steven Spielberg is, again, one of the guys who just knows how to put together a fantastic made movie. And this is it right here. Do I think it's best picture worthy? I think it's worthy of getting nominated, but winning, I don't think so, so far. And I have two issues with this movie. Two issues that after thinking back on it, I do kind of believe. Now, while I think the runtime is actually like flawless in this movie, like I there is very rare scenes that I would pull from this because of pacing issues. The movie has two things with it. One, sometimes it gets a little bit cringy and cheesy, and that's sometimes a little bit too melodramatic for certain of the dramatical scenes in here. Now, it has nothing to go with any of the performances. I think it mostly relies on some of the writing and some of its categories, but what I will say is I don't think this is going to bother everyone. In fact, I actually think that Steven Spielberg did some of this on purpose. I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to be artsy-fartsy. I genuinely mean that because that is a majority of the tone in this movie, and when you make your first movie... You know, I, I've made some shorts. They're crap. They're crap, but they're a lot of fun. They're very melodramatic, and I feel like that is one of the aspects that first-time filmmakers find. And in a way, you can kind of believe that maybe this is like Steven Spielberg honing into his younger persona and playing off of that. And again, maybe I'm just talking out of my ass, but that's certain things I feel like there. As well as the sister relationship in here with Sammy. I wanted a little bit more of that. I wouldn't have minded if this movie was like 10, 20 more minutes to actually give development to him and his sisters. There's not really a big relationship to them, and sometimes they ask for you to really care about certain emotional points with them. And I wish we would have seen a little bit more of that. But besides that, I think The Fablemans is honestly astonishing from top to bottom. That's the direction from Steven Spielberg or some of the scriptural moments from Spielberg and Tony Kushner, as well as the performances from Michelle Williams, Paul Dano, Seth Rogen, and Gabriel Labelle. There's a couple other also performances in here that I don't want to talk about because I was surprised when the actors showed up, but this is just a heartfelt love letter to cinema and to why cinema and movies are so important, and really much a love letter to all Steven Spielberg's childhood. If you want an inside look into one of the biggest masterminds in Hollywood, this is is that outlook and it kind of just reinvigorated me and makes me go why am i not making more short films like i have i have the potential to do so and just seeing the love of filmmaking here kind of like reinvigorated all my love for it once again so with all that said i'm gonna give the fablemans an a minus i think this movie was like almost perfect just just a little bit perfect but other than that guys i can't wait to hear your thoughts thanks so much again for watching this and of course until next time stay classy